Chechen fight for Mariupol. Ukraine is ravaged by war. Relentless attacks have left the city in shambles. It's the muscle of the Russian military. This very complex role that Chechens and Chechen fighters are playing in Ukraine. Chechen fighters are still stationed in Ukraine, fighting a war against Ukraine for Russia. They fighting for President Vladimir Putin. The Chechens are believed to be in the thick of a fighting here, in what's left of Mariupol, feared for their brutality on the battlefield. Soldiers from Chechnya. To the Chechen fighters about the war, allegations of torture and killings of civilians. They've released this footage, they say is from inside the city. It shows them going house to house and firing on residential buildings. Kadyrov claims tens of thousands of his men are fighting in Ukraine. Uh, we mentioned the, a war within a war. A fierce firefight in a village northeast of Kyiv. This video was posted on social media by a Ukrainian volunteer unit. It's believed fighters from Chechnya are in its ranks, fighting for the government in Kyiv and against Ramzan Kadyrov. Chechens on both sides of a front line in a war within a war. Um, I think um, Chechens um, living in exile, for, like recently in Syria, so it is really Chechens now fighting on the Ukrainian side is a phenomenon that is really corresponding to um, the Chechen history of having experienced two wars. Uh, it's attack here on the capital of Kiev uh, on what they call the liberation of Donbass, which uh, means that uh, they would uh, most probably try to conquer as much territory as possible of these two di districts, Luhansk and Donetsk, part of which uh, was controlled by the self-proclaimed re republics that Russia has recognized. Consider subscribing for more in future content. On April 20th, after months of fighting, President Vladimir Putin declared Mariupol was under Russian control. Постановка под контроль такого важного на юге центра, как Мариуполь, это успех. Поздравляю. Remain in the Azovstal steel plant, which covers an area of nearly 11 square kilometers. By Moscow's estimate, a few thousand Ukrainian troops remain in the Azovstal steel plant, which covers an area of nearly 11 square kilometer. Russia has incurred massive losses as well, and estimated that at least 20,000 people have been killed in Mariupol. So why is Russia so determined to seize the city? Mariupol is part of an industrial region in eastern Ukraine known as the Donbass. Capturing it would open a land corridor from Russia's border to the Crimean Peninsula, which Moscow annexed in 2014. It would also deprive Ukraine of a major port and prized industrial assets, like the Azovstal steel plant. With the rest of the city in ruins, why can't Russian forces break through? Azovstal is very hard to storm, and the Russians risk losing many troops, resources, and most importantly, time there. 
It's a city within a city, and fighting there could take months. It has a 24-kilometer labyrinth of underground tunnels, which has allowed its defenders to maneuver freely to escape Russian attacks. Despite that, Ukrainian forces are hanging by a thread. Recently, commanders at the plant have made a series of desperate appeals for help. Instead of risking more Russian lives, he's directed the military to seal the plant off in the hopes that its defenders will surrender after running out of food and ammunition. Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky has estimated about 1,000 civilians have sought shelter in the plant. The mayor of Mariupol appealed last week for the full evacuation of the city. Despite his appeal, Deputy Prime Minister Irina Verishkuk wrote on Facebook, To all those waiting to be evacuated, be patient, please hold on.